Welcome back to Ember Knight. I am Arima, and we're going to try and hit this again. I have a controller plugged in this time, so hopefully this is going to go uh, a little bit better, but also it means that everything I learned from last episode I have immediately forgotten. Uh, it loaded me right back into the game, and uh, we got Esper talking to us again. Ember Knights, look. Now that the Ember Tree has been stabilized, the stewards have begun to return. Ooh, they're cute little Tonama thingies with like blocks on their head. I already like them more than Tonamas. Don't be misled by their carefree appearance. They work tirelessly to maintain the Nexus and it, the Prime Worlds. I am relieved that they're back. I hope they will not suffer any lasting effects from Praxis's attack. That is a very hard name to say, and I'm going to do my best. But we have unlocked a bow. All of my efforts of all of that ember that I got before dying miserably have not gone to vain. Ember tree. So I don't even have to spend it. I just have to collect it. That is true. 517. It is a different... Okay. Chain attack. So we got three attacks and a chain. We can hold X, which is not actually X. I think it's square on my con controller here. In order to begin an attack chain. Release. Perfect attack. Um, and base movement speed. And we're definitely going to go ahead and... Oh, you can attack little guys. Oh, I am so sorry. I'm going to practice all my weapons on you. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not actually sorry. Okay. Eevee's here. <clears throat> this old thing has seen better days, hasn't it? Wait. There was a second. Wait a second. There. While I fits it up. Yep. Just gonna hit it a few times. Some percussive repair efforts today. Oh, it's <laughs> except it's not working. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, just hit it harder. That's, that's, that's how it goes. Ancient magical, semi-magical technology uh, just just takes a few few, few hammer hits. Ta-da! This contraption here is a still convergence and creation device. What it does is break down still tablets into their most basic parts, like minuscule. I mean, so small you can't even see them. Then it transmodifies those parts into new stills. I think. I haven't tried it yet, but in theory, that's how it should work. I wonder if anything to be broken down and turned into something else. Maybe my hammer could be a scale? That would be cool. There are so many things no one can properly explain here, but I need to know how they work. I spent a lot of time th tinkering. Tinkering. That's a little joke. I actually missed it. Sorry. Because it rhymes. I know it's supposed to be tinkering, but I like the way thinkering sounds. I like her. Phew. Sorry, I had to take a break. Anyways, thanks to yours truly, we can now convert the still tablets you found into new stills. Pretty great, although I don't think I found any still tablets. If you find any more, be sure to bring them back to me. Yeah, I don't... Did I find? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I don't think I found any still tablets. You know, you can charge your stills by holding the button down when you do so. It becomes charge still. If you release just at the right time. Yeah, I know. I actually said that there wasn't one, and then I immediately found out that there was a perfect still. I actually love the perfect still combat. Charge stills and perfect stills. Your bonuses like increased damage and range. Try it with each still to see what they can do. I actually think that at the end of last episode, I noticed that the charge attack that I was doing only actually had its defense whenever I was perfect charging it. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'd like to test it more. Okay. This is really strong. And I think it might lead to us winning a run. So we're going to go ahead and equip it. And then unlock this. What are my alternatives here? Ooh. Specifically boss damage. Oh, so this actually upgrades. Each air upgrade adds 4% more damage. Okay. Once I get the Ember, I think I'm going to prefer the Giant Slayer. And this is starting gold. Curious what the alternatives there are. Oh, he wants to talk to me. I bet he wants those orbs. It's that strange energy I sense. Ah, uh, a relic orb. I've read about these. I just need to find the proper chapter in my floating book. Animations in Steam are very beautiful. There. That is a powerful piece of history you have found. I will aid it. It will aid you in your journey. I can't read. If you find any more, I will do what I can to identify them. So we got Chronograph. Skills refresh quicker. Oh, so these are passives. Upon death, you revive full HP. 
Ooh, that's pretty good. Is that it? Praxis. He was one of us, the best of us. We were fellows once. When the architect chose me to become the net's keeper, Praxis was furious. Oh, so he's jealous. We quarreled. I tried to smooth things over, but anger had already corrupted Praxis's heart. He left the Nexus, and I blame myself. We should have been, he should have been the keeper. You must follow him, stop him. If you are quick, you may be able to catch him before he does something that cannot be undone. Ah, uh, it's not your fault. People like that, they're gonna be jealous anytime anyone else has to get other than that. Just go ahead and uh, <laughs> knock our friends down again. And uh, let's head back into this. The world looks a little different. I wonder if it actually will be different. Okay. Already to tell Ace difference in uh, how effective this weapon is over the melee weapon. Although I will say that uh, I feel like this is going to hurt my hand over a period of time. <clears throat> I'd like to use my mouse and keyboard, but unfortunately, my microphone, as I'm sure all of you can tell, is not the best quality. This is a hobby, and this is day one of my hobby. Ember fire. Damage and burn nearby enemies on a cone of mystical flame. Let's try it. It's new. Okay, what button do we press? That's okay. I will say I feel more fair fighting uh, our Doomworm friends here now, though. Fight fire with fire. Range with range, as it were. <clears throat> Relax. Anything new? Let's go with the chronograph. You might think that I need the extra revive, and I probably do, but I'm not going to take it. Gem of power. Let's hope that's skill power. Easy, easy. Ooh, just flat damage. So, is there... Yeah. Damage, still damage, crit, and speed. Didn't quite get to the end of the bar there. It just still takes a lot longer to uh, charge up than the other ones I was using. Ooh, sort of got trapped there. I don't know if this is going to stay the case, but boy, do the enemies in the first area feel a lot easier with a ranged weapon. Kind of glad they didn't give me the ranged weapon the first time, because the sword would have felt awful after using this. No, we're going to win our run, so we don't need all this extra ember. We'll get extra ember just by doing well, right? Right, guys? Yeah, totally. I mean, there's no one here listening right now, but hopefully there will be one day. That pot is moving more than the other pot. So I wonder if I can... So that one gave me, like, three. And that one gave me more. Okay, good to know. <clears throat> more Esper Orbs, more Unlocks. Always gotta love that. That's the whole reason why road lights are fun, right? Oh, wow, that arrow actually has way more range than it looks like it does. Ah, it's extending as I go. Okay. Got it, I got it. It is dangerous and risky, and I kind of have them filled with fear every time I charge this burn attack up. So, uh, you don't see a lot of one taps instead of a lot of perfect charges because, uh, well, you know, it's just as effective. Like that. Just as effective as a little fiery shotgun. Mini boss. I have met you before. Okay. I was on controller, so I could not see the button fast enough. It's that one. Oh, you did it three times. You are a sanguine sucker.
This try is different, huh? Oh, we'd have to see what the perfect uh, fire looked like for a second there. You know, I noticed that there's something extra about the bow here that I clearly did not read. Looks like getting consecutive charge attacks with the bow that are perfect does something. And that was very powerful. Ooh, skill tablet. We can take it back to our uh, best girl from Undertale, Eevee. Yeah, that sucks. But it is what it is. We have 150 more gold, bonus move speed, and crit. Ironically, once I get it, I will have less than 150 gold. Still willing to talk to me, Arlie? Still doesn't like those right in, huh? I'm going to break your sign again. Didn't like that. We'll get the gold eventually. Let's get stronger. Just gotta pay attention for a moment here. See if we can do really well this floor. Oh yeah, about that. So... Oh, can't see it here. Maybe some other menu. Precision. Precision sounds like crit. Yeah, three shots. And it starts turning into this beast. Thirteen privets in a row. Clears a room. Crit chance. Perfect. of chakrams. Not much reason to be in that close whenever it comes to um, Ranger Boy here. Okay, so using a skill doesn't break the perfect combo. <clears throat> they actually forced me to break the perfect combo there. Is a very, very satisfying weapon. Got to drink some water here. Let's get back to it. Whenever you burn an enemy, deal bonus damage. Ooh. Or we could get that armor back. I think the armor is going to be pretty pivotal for a winning run. And it gives you 15 armor right away as well. Ah, uh, there was a bag in that room, wasn't there? I just missed that. You know, I hear every YouTuber saying about how whenever they're recording and they're talking, you miss a lot of details all of a sudden, and I am experiencing that now. I wonder if I can prep my bow. Nope. Prep does not matter. Perfect skill activation is going off here. Ooh, managed to hit him one more time before he got back. Not enough time for a charge, but more than enough time. I, was I, did he stun? 
I wonder if there's some sort of stun mechanic for like how much damage you did, how fast. You did. Oh, it's gonna come back here. Perfect time to charge up. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that the bow is just better than the sword. I think there's a. Oh. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of stun mechanic. I'm not gonna say that the sword's just better than, or the uh, bow is just better than the sword, but at least for this first boss, that was much easier. And a fancy little show off. Got some Kirby action going there. Look at that, plenty of ember. More tablets for Eevee, and a bunch of maximum HP. You know, Proxus is right there. You could just shoot him in the back. Just saying. Second area. Looks like we're about 16 minutes in, so... The first area in probably about 15 minutes. Actually, there's a timer in the top right corner. I could probably just check here in a second, to be honest. Oh. Was that my fault? Yeah, but that timer's not moving, so that's not real time. Okay. I guess that's probably only game time. You guys like fire? Because I have fire. I brought it from the forest. Okay. First thing we gotta do is we gotta figure out what the breakable for gold looks like. None in here. Okay. What are you? Toxic ball. Weapon attack poisons them. I don't think I have any poison, right? No, I don't have any poison. Sorry, we're gonna have to go with Chain Lightning then. <laughs> if you give me Chain Lightning, I'm gonna take Chain Lightning pretty much every time. Looks like Praxis is pissed. So, Esper actually summoned you. I would have expected him to perish from old age before actually making a move. This is the first time I've seen an Ember Knight, the Defenders of the Nexus. Is that supposed to be a joke? A sneeze to blow you away. It's hardly worth the effort, but I'll give you something to play with. This is only a minuscule portion of my power. Try not to break too quickly. You know, anyone who says that this is only a minuscule portion of their power, it really feels like you're trying to, you know. Ooh, yes, crystals. Yeah, well, let's kill your friends first. Remember, kids, if someone's trying to beat you, beat you up, kill their friends. In Minecraft. I get charges even off the crystals? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, where are your friends now? I can see that hot guy kicking my ass in a later level. He was kind of easy in... Isolation like that, but look how ooh, ooh, what's oh you? I don't like you. You you are across the room doing damage to me. And that storm moves too, but it's like we found what gold comes from. Golden pots. Who would have ever guessed? Oh man. Oh, you also have a bow. I suppose that's fair. Angry stalactites. Nope, stalagmites. They come up from the ground. Oh, they also dodge. So you're basically running my build, but icier. I see. Oh, let's get the pack this time. He left me an apple. How nice. Teacher's pet. Oh, I don't have to collect the gold. Thank you so much. I do not like going around collecting gold. Don't get me wrong, I like my survivor lights and stuff like that, and there's a certain satisfying mechanic to going around collecting all your loot, but if I can get a team to get, send me their loot automatically, I'll be happy every day. Actually, I just realized this guy is kind of doing the same thing as my guy, my melee guy, where it was earlier. It's almost like all these guys have similar skills to me, or maybe I have similar skills to them.
I am sure I'm going to miss gold in one of these rooms, but let's go for extra gold. We're going to win this run, boys. Ooh, maybe not with this. What's the Japanese uh, ice spirit called? I think it's a... I don't want to say it wrong. But... Reminds me of the Japanese ice spirit. that would be more of something one of my friends would know. I like mythology from all around the world, but... Um... I'm terrible at remembering names of things. Gem of Power. I believe that was base attack damage. And Vigor. I think I'm going to take attack damage over HP pretty much any day. Wait, did she split or more enemies spawn? Not sure how, how that one works. I think maybe she teleported away and then coincidentally at the same time some enemies appear. Damage. Any gold? Don't see any gold. Don't see anything that could look like a secret. Skill selector or stat selector. You know, I like my skills, but I want to see more of them. I can imagine how much damage that one tornado would have done to me if I got stuck in it, because all three of them were channeling into the same location. That is dangerous. Also, those icicles have little tiny, hard-to-see circles around them that gives me the impression that perhaps they will do damage if I get too close to them. Relic Orb. It's always good. Cloak and Dagger or Knight's Charge? Let's go Cloak and Dagger. I didn't read it. So, become invisible and went use again while invisible to damage enemies and weaken bosses and mini bosses. Um, we're going to go ahead and waste the charge. Ooh, that's a beautiful little backstab with a massive range on the backstab. So, that's going to be the start of our combo, then, because it said it weakens bosses, so. Oh, technically this auto attack is better for charging up my skills. Do your little guys count? Yeah, they, they count. Can I break your flag? Yeah, I can. Didn't see if it counted, though. So does weaken mean that I do more damage, or that you do less damage? I don't really want to take a hit to find out. But, status effect is a status effect. Put it on. And we got him. First try. That's another one where I can see very slight variations, like maybe on a harder difficulty, that guy being really, really hard. Or alternatively, with a melee weapon, that guy would be really hard. That is some Matt's HP. Don't really need that. First weapon hit on an enemy is a crit. Okay, so... We have this this run, right? That's on defeat, not on crit this time. How much money do we have? If we buy one thing, we'll be above 150, so we'll keep the bonus move speed and crit. Our skills also poison. Let's go with this. Ooh, I almost forgot to pick it up. Arlen, steadfast Sorodo, used to be warm and welcoming. Shame. <laughs> Not a man of many words. I can appreciate it. If every NPC in your game is a man of many words, then you did Genshin Impact and a board arena. Good game, don't get me wrong. But boy, are they eh, people in that game wordy. Ooh, I can shoot straight through this. Awesome. Although I think I'm going to prefer the uh, fast shots over the charge attacks, despite how satisfying the charge attack is, just because it charges up my beautiful backstab more. Which doesn't ult. Okay, yep. Take a moment. Remember to be good at the video game.
Good. This storm disappears when he dies. Oh, was that stunning? If it does stun, I think it must be on a perfect charge, perhaps? I'm not sure. Maybe it stuns little enemies every time. That's healing or vigor. Well, I mean, technically gaining HP is a form of healing. I believe someone back at the thing said that every... Yeah. Every skill can be charged. There was a... Not sure if you caught it, but there was a very small little circle around me that grew as I charged. And then that means that there is a perfect version of even this. Yeah, this stuns every time. Okay. Took a few hits there, but altogether, I believe, not that much of a loss. My arrows keep getting drawn to these life mites, which mean that they're probably bad for my health. You need to die. You are my least favorite. Oh, look at that, yeah. He just... He just tried to get me. Use our longer range to our advantage. Finish that guy off. Gem of Power and Wisdom. Wisdom with skill damage? Let's go for skill damage. We need to remember that we can stun now. If we see any more relics that focus on stunning, what does this do? Oh, that's cool. Got a horn of the ancients going there. That guy just like was doing his own thing over here. Kind of feel bad for killing him at the end, but needs must. He chose the wrong master. Let's see how long that lasts. Oh, this is the boss. They're giving us healing. Healing is never free in a road like. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice try, though. I mean, I'm sure your master loves you for it. Gave you guys just enough time to summon your master and then immediately die to him. Nice. Oh, okay. Big ice chin. Charges against walls. I don't know if I got the weakness on him. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of a downer right there. Okay, I see it now. Kind of a lot going on on my screen right now. This functions as a dodge as well. Oh, he, he had a phase where he was going to be stunned because he ran against the wall, but I think I phased him into the... Ooh, got a dodge over that. Phased him into the next phase, so he decided to not be stunned. That was about time to use that. Although I do appreciate the movement speed. Does that last until... Wow, that lasted a long time. I'm gonna bet you money he's gonna decide to use multiple of those in the future. Those waves. Oh, missed them with the fire. Ooh, that's getting a lot faster. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, damn. I was really expecting him to uh, show back up at the top there. But no, he wants to use his fancy boss. Really. That was a little bit trickier. Nothing that we haven't seen before, though. Oh, oh yeah, yep, there it is.
Wasn't enough, though. Good try. You hurt me. Praxis would be proud. I love that little spin animation. But it looks like we're uh, 30 minutes into this recording, so uh, we're going to take this tablet for Eevee. We're going to take a crit chance, max HP, and this has been Ember Nights, and I have been Arima. I hope you guys have a good day.